Did leaks reveal the plot of Breath of the Wild 2? Ugh, Breath of the Wild 2. Arguably the most anticipated Nintendo game in recent memory, rivaled only by 2018's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The confirmed sequel to the original Switch launch title Breath of the Wild is set to come out sometime in the spring of next year. That is literally all we know about this title so far, apart from just a few minutes of gameplay footage which reveals small details about new gameplay mechanics and how the world of Hyrule looks in the sequel set right after the events of the original. But one major aspect of the highly anticipated Switch title is its plot. We left off with Link seemingly defeating Calamity Ganon and restoring peace to Hyrule, allowing the four champions of Hyrule to watch over their respective divine beasts and peoples in peace. From the gameplay we've seen of Breath of the Wild 2, it seems that Hyrule is never at peace. With Zelda back to life, after a thousand years being the Zelda equivalent of a force ghost from Star Wars, it seems that Hyrule is in turmoil yet again. So in this video we're going to briefly speculate as to whether or not the four champions of Hyrule will return to the flesh to help take down whatever evil version of Ganon is continuing this wrath. When we left off in Breath of the Wild, it seemed that the four champions were staying in the afterlife and not returning to physical form to lead their people. But we think this is going to change in the sequel. With Zelda back alive and well, what's stopping the four champions from returning to guard their people and aid Link and Zelda in this new quest to stop Hyrule from, well, shooting up into the sky like the castle did in the original announcement trailer? So now, if the champions came back, in what capacity would we see them? Here's what we think. Each champion should return to their peoples and settlements to guard them. Once they're aware of whatever form of Ganon is coming out next, they will have to stand guard at their divine beasts protecting their people. Now the plot of the game, similar to the original, could be linked going to each of the four champion settlements, and there's a major villain battle at each of the four of them. Perhaps Ganon bests Link, and the champions at each location, and the settlements are shot into the sky to surround the castle. After Link fails to save all four of the settlements, Link, Zelda, and the four champions will take to the skies to go and save all the people of Hyrule. This would be a pretty cool plot. While a lot of Zelda games are dark, this would certainly make this game far darker than most Zelda titles. Having the bad guys, Ganon, and the usually possessed crew of mobs win for most of the game is a unique take that we don't really see in any Nintendo games. Of course, Link and the Champions will win in the end, but it will be a long and difficult journey to get there. Ganon already stripped all of the Champions of everything they love. They tried to defend their land and people, and their lives were taken for it. Now, thanks to Link's efforts, they were reunited with their peoples, only to have their people and homes stripped away from them again by Ganon. But now they're in a physical form to be able to help take down the Calamity yet again. Remember, this is just speculation, and just one way we would like to see the plot of the game though. Will we be right? Of course not, but it's fun to speculate like this as if we're making the game ourselves. Now we're going to cover some plot leaks that surfaced a few months back, with the source being the voice actor for Deruk, the Goron Champion. So if you don't want to hear possible spoilers, click away now. You have five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one more bonus second. So according to the voice actor for Daruk, he said in an interview with a Zelda YouTube channel that he not only voiced Daruk in the sequel, but also an ancient ancestor of Daruk. There have been plenty of rumors that this Breath of the Wild sequel is going to have a lot to do with the idea of time. So could Link be traveling into the past? Could this game actually take place a hundred years prior to the events of the original due to some event that sent Link back in time? Maybe the sequel will tell the story that we heard so much about through cutscenes and flashbacks in the original. This would be a very cool route for Nintendo to take, and it could actually be plausible. Link is the hero of time, after all. We didn't want to get into this theory too much because of the possible leak from Pietro Ubaldi, Daruk's Italian voice actor. We'll have to wait and see what more information we can get this summer. But for now, thanks for speculating with us. Thank you for tuning into today's video on Breath of the Wild 2 Speculation. Be sure to leave a like and comment in the comment section. Check out our most recent videos, and in the description you can also find the link to join our Discord and be a part of our channel and our fan base's fun with over 700 members. We'll see you next time.